Good evening, and welcome to Sea Nipple News. Tonight, Mike will cover Dakota Fingar, a future baseball star. Then, Austin will cover Mike Carlquist, the basketball coach of Okanagan. Then, Sea Nipple will have the weather for you. Then, I will cover Aaron Nicholson on his shoe game. Now to Michael and Dakota. Hi, I'm here with upcoming baseball star Dakota Fingar. So, Dakota, how's it feel to be a commit at the University of Oklahoma? Well, Michael, it feels pretty good. It's going to be a good season, I hope, for me. And we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, how's the uh, current baseball season treating you right now? Well, we've started off pretty strong. We've been indoors since it's snowing outside. You know, that snow sucks. So we're pretty hard. But yeah, it's going so so good so far. Um, how did how did your parents react when they found out that you committed? Um, they took it very well because I got a good scholarship for it. So it helped pay for a lot of the college. Well, that's good. Thank you, Dakota. Uh, now back to you, Jacob. Thank you, Mike. What a great interview. Dakota's voice can make a Wolverine purr. And now, on to Austin with Mike Carlquist, head coach of the Okanagan boys basketball team. You can go. All right. I'm here with Coach Mike Carlquist, head boys basketball coach of Okanagan High School. His basketball team went to regionals this year. Was this season exciting for you, Coach? The end was. Very much so. We had a lot of good home games where we beat guys from each other at home. But beating OMAC in Cashman District was the best part of the season. How do you think your season went for you? Uh, up and down, but we were so young that we got better late. And we have a lot of kids back, so next year is going to be great. How was it coaching this set of athletes? Uh, a lot of them are very, they're younger than I'm used to having. But I liked all 12 kids on my team. Equally well. And finally, how do you think player leadership affected your team down the road? I think we don't, we lack that a little bit. And partly because of the lack of experience. James Colbert was kind of one, but you know, James probably, if you took his three sports, football and soccer, he excels a better than basketball. So I think if he would have, but some things James did really well, but we really didn't have that. Leader kid we've had before, like the Rebus, Joe Townsend, and Jim Townsend. But I think that'll be better next year. All right, and how do you think Mike Getz will do for your team next year? I think Michael Getz has unlimited potential. He needs to play with a little more confidence, but I think he had a big, a, he made a big progress from his sophomore year to his junior year. If he does the same for his senior year, he'll be a stud. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Now have back to you, Jake. Fantastic interview, Austin. Tragic loss for the boys. Maybe they should get better next year. Now, on to Sea Nipple with the weather. Sea Nipple here with the weather. It's pretty nice outside. Blue skies. Still snow on the ground. Don't really know how cold it is. We should go check the weather. Back to you, Jake. Great job, Sea Nipple. Glad that you know how the weather works. Now, with me, is Aaron Nicholson. I'm here with Mr. Nicholson, and we've heard that you have a pretty strong shoe selection. Um, you came to school one day wearing some like snakeskin stuff. What's what's up with that? Well, actually, I've got two pair. I got the uh, sort of off brown, and I've got the blue. So Why do you gotta be such a? Did you uh, did you fill those snakes yourself again? No, sir. No, I like to s <laughs> like to tell people I did, but I only yeah I only wear shoes where snakes are very small because the skin. Ah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Small I get it. Um, you also uh, had this very bright green pair of shoes one time. Yeah. Really blinding. Where'd you get those at? Uh, all of my. Uh, this will plug for East Bay. Oh, Eastbay.com. That is an endorsement. That's a, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm not a federal official, so I get endorsed products. That's good. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and uh, you also drive a Porsche. Uh, where, what's the story behind the Porsche? I don't drive it very much, but. You know? Well, my sister is a really nice and wealthy girl, and she gave it to me because it was nice. That's a fantastic story. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pressure. It's the pressure. Oh, um, it's yeah. Time. So, actually, I wasn't supposed to get it until she died, and then she's not dead. But <laughs> she got a nicer car, so I get I get the uh, hand me down. Oh yeah, yeah. That's usually how it goes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. Is it over? I, I thought I was just getting started, so. Well, I ran out. I, I was never prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in with us here tonight at Sea Nipple News. We all hope you have a very American night. Dakota Mutola. 
Welcome. Damn it, I messed it up. <laughs> I need to hear about this stupid warm up so I'm like. Did he just record that? <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to C Nipple News. Tonight, we will be interviewing Dakota Fingar, a future ba. ba, ba. I have an idea. Let me write it in my notes, I'll put my notes behind the hat, and then whenever I get lost, I'll look down. Yeah? Sure. We have nothing to lose. Except the grade. <laughs> oh, bi- <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to See Nipple News. Tonight, Michael Getz will be recover- no, no, no! <laughs> Keep texting. What time is it actually? It's only seven thirty, like seven eighteen. Jacob, hurry up. Yeah, I'm almost done with this. For some no, he's here. I'm almost done. Stop yelling at me. Uh, uh. Mom. <laughs> okay. No more anchor boys. Yes, anchor boys. I'm going black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My accent may get funny at times. <laughs> Let's get the tape roll. <laughs> um, I'm here with Where's the camera? Right here. <laughs> Are we starting over? <laughs> Not anymore. Quit texting Dallas. She doesn't Not texting love you Dallas. anymore. You're supposed to be our anchor. You're not supposed to text your females. Jacob. I can just not do this. <laughs>